What I'm sharing with you is the only way to supernaturally transform a losing hand into a winning hand. I mean, some hands you get dealt in poker or some other card game, you look at it, you say, this is a losing hand. I might as well just fold. You see, the losing response is to play the victim. The winning response is to resolve to do the right thing in the eyes of God. And you'll always win when you handle the unexpected surprises in this manner. Why? When you handle it in this way, you are exercising faith in God's intervention. You'll say, now, Lord, this has become a situation that is beyond me. I need your helping power. Help me, assist me by the power of your spirit to endure in doing the right thing in your eyes. On the surface, it seemed that Joseph had been dealt the lousiest, unexpected surprise a guy could ever go through. But then we see, but after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. Exercise faith in God's intervention. She will give birth, the angel said, to a son. And you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Isn't that amazing? Joseph's hand was suddenly transformed from the lousiest hand you could ever have. A measly pair of deuces to a royal flush. Hallelujah. In a way, it reminds me of the story of Pastor Mike and little Jimmy. Pastor Mike is going, man, this is a bad deal. Baby Jesus is gone. Goes to call the cops. She's little Jimmy. And to his astonishment, he finds out that little Jimmy had it on his heart to take Jesus and reveal him all around the neighborhood. You see God's heart? Write this down. Don't forget this. And that unexpected surprise, ugly as though it may seem, comes up in your life. Cultivate the habit of saying, in what way is God, in the ugliness of this unexpected surprise, seeking to reveal His Son to the world? That's what God's aim is. He wants His Son to be revealed to the world. Here Joseph is thinking, this is a lousy, stinking surprise. But then the angel comes and says, no, Joseph, this is a miraculous work of God. And you are going to assist in seeing God's awesome son revealed to all of humankind. Somebody give me an amen. Amen. So here's a question. In what ways is God seeking to use the unexpected surprises in your life to reveal His Son to the world. You know, this is so beautiful. All Joseph did was resolve to do the right thing in the eyes of God. And you can imagine his pain, his disappointment, his disillusionment. And he said, I just am going to have to do the right thing in the eyes of God here. And then God came. You know what? That's the way God wants to operate in your life. Next time that unexpected surprise pops up and you see it as potentially so hurtful, so damaging, and you're tempted to react, just take that breath and say, in what way is God seeking to reveal his son to the world through this situation? 